For the longest time, I wanted to do a post on how to approach girls that are ordering a drink at the bar. Okay, finally. And the reason I couldn't do that is because through words, it's hard to explain. So what I did is I went to the toy store and I bought some dolls. And through these dolls um, and with the camera, I want to show you a couple things that I do that increase the chance that when I try to start a conversation, the girl is going to be open to me. Before I get started in that, there's one kind of rule I wanted to tell you is that the most open a girl will be at the bar is when she just ordered a drink, when her glass is oh. full of liquid. Okay. We're, we're learning a lot. And the pickup artists, they're, they're such bullshit. I mean, they do work, but the reason they work is because you're going up talking to girls and trying. It doesn't really matter what you say. If you have enough confidence to go up and talk to girls, eventually it's a numbers game. You're going to be successful. That's the only reason these fucking pickup artist shit works. Yeah, I mean, like, even, it doesn't matter. What? Even, it doesn't even matter how bad your pickup line. You can be like, hey, baby, I'm GJ. an axe murderer. Want to come back to my place? Roosh V has a patent pending system endorsed by NASA. Yeah, this is Roosh <laughs> NASA endorses this shit. Yeah. Psychologically, you don't want to. He'll teach you how to land your rocket. When you have a full drink. Right, Girls are don't yeah, order a drink and then run directly to the dance floor. They don't order a drink and try to navigate through a crowded bar. When you get that They're full encumbered drink, by this that may drink. be true of you as well. You kind of want to <laughs> stay in that place for a couple couple minutes. Wait till they have a handicap. Away, have, a, have a few they can't set run away from you. Lasso They're them trapped. in. Bring a rope and lasso. Set a, set a few bear traps around the bar, you know. <laughs> see what you catch. This is so pathetic. This dude's basically just speaking to other losers who can't get girls. It's just, you know, it's sad. No, he's, Six, a, he's a real and man, And once dude. that level comes down, then you move into action and do what you want, you want to do. Um, so when you're at the bar and a girl is ordering a drink, don't try to talk to her when she's fighting for the bartender's attention. Okay, she's not going to be completely open to you when her mind is on this goal of getting a drink. <laughs> so always that, wait. That fucking hole wait you until pay attention to the bartender for you. Women are all like alcoholics. <laughs> yeah, don't don't worry about that bullshit. Wait till her attention is on is is just on her drink, and she's got that drink to like encumber her and keep her near the bar. And hopefully, the, the the more inebriated she gets, the better Rouge looks. This guy's way overthinking it. Just walk up and talk to the damn girl. No. No, he has to have a strike, a precision <laughs> tactical strike. It's, it's not that difficult. I mean, you can find out within the first, like, five seconds if a girl's attracted to you or not, and move on to your life if she's not. I mean, it's not hard. It's so hard, Dusty. Oh, it is hard. 80% <laughs> I mean, of communication is nonverbal. You can tell immediately if a girl's attracted to you or not. So you don't have to, like, play the stupid games, and you don't have to have these... Sets of dialogues, walk up to him and say hi, and see how her body language responds to you. And if it's not good, walk the fuck away. It's not hard. Dusty, brought to you via potato. <laughs> <laughs> but Roosh, we has a patented been, pending system. Come on, guys. Via underwater potato. I've had pretty good success for a 40-year-old guy, and it's not hard. It's very simple. It's just all about confidence. That's good. But you need Rouge V's overpriced system. Come He's on, done. everyone knows that. Yeah. Wait until the transaction is complete once she has received her drink and also once she has paid you say, for come it. back to my I place. If she says no, you punch her. Especially if I'm standing right, right next to them. As soon as she puts the credit card or the chain she has gotten <laughs> into her wallet. Into her Jesus, he's so a stalker. That, he has like a checklist. Cre credit card put shit, away? Man. Okay. Now yeah. I walk over there. And look at her. Follow her back to her car. <laughs> Poor form. Didn't Follow her home. home. <laughs> Into the wallet, then Visit her house for three she weeks, taking notes of her activities. It putting it in her purse, and then the approach has started. So what I'm going to do now is turn off the camera and move it here so I can show you a couple scenarios okay. with my dolls. Learn, learn. <laughs> He's got dolls. <laughs> his dolls. All right, so let me introduce the dolls to you. <laughs> troll or not a troll? Holy shit! Oh my god! What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, those dolls are, are pretty those cool. Are angry birds? They yes, are. they are. Oh he's gonna, god. he's gonna show you how to be a pickup artist. <laughs> With angry birds. Yes. 
The this is me. Is presented by I looked for a Chewbacca figurine, but I couldn't find it. This so is me. I'm like a fucking eagle. We'll have to do. A sword These like are eagle. regular girls who are at the bar or club. Uh, by bitches. looking at the expression on this He's one, you can tell over. that this is the cock blocker. <laughs> this is the hipster chick who wears those annoying elderly glasses that she thinks makes her look interesting, but actually makes her look like a total She's idiot. Garbage. And these two are the cute cute girls who you want to have sex with. <laughs> these are the naive bitches that... Uh, he really I analyzed them. I know. Just, this is like a football practice. <laughs> he was like... like and O's. He looked at these little angry birds and was like, these bitches <laughs> look stuck up. This, this one's a cock blocker. This is a cock block, angry and, birds. And, but I would fuck these birds, the blue one <laughs> and the like white one. Bird. <laughs> it should be sold like That's that. Roosh feet. Rouge V should label the birds. The ones with know. the passive, lazy eyes. <laughs> the ones that look like there's nothing. There's no one home. Those are the ones I want. Those are the ones that'll actually start, sleep with me. This bird starts speaking gibberish like the other chick. I'm gonna come in my pants. So we're gonna start now. Again, these are these are situations <laughs> that happen directly at the bar, not in the <laughs> dance oh floor or in the <laughs> space <laughs> away from it. So we're going to start with uh, the easiest scenario, which is two girls who are at the bar trying to get a drink. Okay. Now, all you got to do, it doesn't get easier than this, oh is stand next to the girl that you want to talk to, the eagle wait until she gets, she gets her drink, then tap her on the shoulder with your hand three times after the transaction is complete. Three times. Three times. Three times, everyone. Hold exactly. on. That's all. Three times. And you whip out your deck oh, and say, great. suck it. You tap on her shoulder once or twice or four times. You know, once. If you tap on her shoulder once, she'd be like, what the fuck is that? If you tap on her shoulder twice, she'd be like, whoa. What the, hell? what the hell's going on? I'm barely even, this guy's not very yeah. confident. Three times, that's the charm. Four times, it's like, whoa, whoa. this guy's coming on yeah. too strong. Four times, cut you. Three times is the magic number. You gotta tap her exactly three times. It's like Beetlejuice, okay? Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. That's how you do it. <laughs> That's all that you have to do. If you find yourself on the wrong side, you want this girl, but in between is the cock blocker. Oh, do no. not open her. Do not open her. Because oh my. there's two things. Do, do not open her. Do not open her, dude. It's Don't like a it. game no. of risk or something at this point. Like this. Lose this a turn. <laughs> things. She's Why do I get the feeling you... he spends more time planning this kind of shit out than he does actually doing this? <laughs> He plays with the, with these toys. He lays yeah, around. He's here. trying to educate men. Come on, buddy. He's, he's talking about you're strategy here. We got to be Most writing this shit down. Artists do that. They practice and watch more videos than they ever go out and practice a lot. That's kind of the reason they're online nerdy pickup artists. Like her, and the friend is going to be reluctant after that to give you any attention for fear that she's stealing the guy that her friend wants. So the best thing to do in that case is to kind of pretend you're looking around for something, <laughs> you're a lost person, you're, you're looking around. I'm, I'm oh, just this I confused I'm guy behind you, oh I yeah. ended up like, here uh, somehow, so okay. Good. Pretend to be retarded. <laughs> yeah, just pretend, pretend to be a hapless retard <laughs> for a yeah, moment. I don't know where the fuck I am. <laughs> where am I? Am I at a bar? Wait a minute, what the fuck, is this some kind what of What time is it? Where's the bathroom? Huh? What? <laughs> I think Again. I dropped a hay penny. Where, oh, there it is over by this chick. Okay. The transaction, she gets the drink, then you want to approach her. Yeah. Now, that was the easiest case. Let's make it a little bit harder. Let's make it that the Wrapping bar the is completely here. packed. That there's the people everywhere. Now, what I find that in <coughs> bars that are packed, I mean, if it's really packed, what you have is multiple levels, like th two or three deep. I mean, if you're in a bar that's that packed, you, you have to find somewhere else. You really don't want a, f a bar that is more than one level deep. You don't really want so any let's competition say you still because like this, I'm pretty this lame. Uh, same girl here. But now you can't do the same move now as you last whip your time. Dick out. You can't it's just not be as like, easy. bitch, move out of the way. That's, yeah, push that's that not allowed. out of the way. Probably... <laughs> Rufi is here. Why not? It's private property. Yeah, oh my god, this is so stupid. Rufi just walks up and smacks uh, a bitch it, off her, her seat. It, move, it, bitch. I want to pull beer on this so bad.
So you support what they did there? I usually don't support feminists, but in this case, I think they're 100 percent correct. That's just like you know what I, I have to go with them. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm on I'm on team feminism with this one. He has that effect on people. Let's see what the strategy is for this scenario. Okay. He should bring his toys to the bar with him. And, and then, then he, he could, could show like, the girls, you know. <clears throat> this is my strategy for getting oh. your pants. <laughs> totally into it, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, you love me. Oh, Rouge feet time. <laughs> Look how much thought and effort I put into this. Rouge feet. He get kicked out <laughs> yeah. of the bar. So what you're going to do instead, now this is, this actually took me a long time to figure you're out. You're going to throw a vinyl so record right. to distract the hipster. Oh All you She's have gonna to do. See what's Hold going on, on, Scotty. He, this took him a long time to figure out. Let's fucking get, let it's him important. impart his knowledge upon us. This is hard. Okay, I'm sorry, but I mean, it's just, you know, <laughs> it's too easy, Chief. Too easy. We got to, we got to, this is, you're about to learn some fucking life facts here, Scotty. The facts of life, just huh? stand right behind the girl that you want. Uh-huh. As soon as she gets her drink, yeah. what she's going to oh do my God. is turn around and see your beautiful face, and then you just open her. It's that easy. Uh, okay, so not they're all getting. At all. Yeah. Over just... her. Okay, wait a minute. <laughs> I'm just going to ogle you from behind and stand there like, please turn around. Turn plenty, around. Of people, plenty of people sit at bars, though. They don't necessarily just stand there, they sit at the bar. What if they're fucking having a drink at the bar and you're just standing behind like, please turn around now? Just come up behind her and start giving her a sensual shoulder massage. That'll work. Has this guy ever actually been to a fucking bar? Yeah. I mean, most people sit at the bar. They don't just, like, stand there and, like, okay, now I'm going to go back. I mean, maybe Depends if you're... on the bar, Scott. Maybe yeah. if you're this creepy-ass guy that you're, like, watching this woman go to the bar, and, okay, now I'm going to get into her <laughs> way and jump in her path and be like, talk to me, please! I mean, hey, and baby, I what's like happening? Too, and the women do not like it. The women find these guys creepy and annoying. This is not how you behave. Get no. a drink. Then they're like, okay, we got our drink. I guess we'll go. Bam, you're right there. You're wow. right Oh, my God. There. You're right Bam. there. Bam. <laughs> wow. Push I, that bitch out of the way. I never would have. Get him away, cock So, wait. It took him that long to figure out if you can't be next to her, just stand behind her. That took him a long all, time all. to figure this, out. This is redefined uh, warfare, TJ. These tactics are cutting Yeah, this edge. is like some Sun Tzu this, shit. This guy's a genius. That you, you have to do. So what I'm doing, many times I am in in the club, and I can't really find a good spot. Maybe you know sometimes when the bar is extremely the hell? crowded, I, I don't really believe that. Oh, just the VIP. Post up Come on, because then people are constantly going to be asking you to move. They want to get a drink, and that kills you. That that kills the vibe. So what I do instead is kind of hide actually. I find a spot, maybe a wall, what the fuck? and I hide there. What? I hide! I place where people don't really this is see me. Creepier. I hide behind a wall. So I hide in the shadows. Sometimes I, sometimes I plant cameras the night before when the bar's not really full. Oh so I have God. tactical vision and I know all the women that are going to be there. I can evaluate them. and I have a 37-point rating system. It's like, whoa, dude. Uh, I think you have some issues. This, this is the creepiest dude ever. <laughs> Sometimes I hide okay, in the hide. shadows like Batman, watching a crime unfold, preparing to strike when the moment is correct. And then when I see an opportunity... When, when, he should add, like, when you stand behind her, like, you know, get in, make sure you have an erection and just, like, yeah. poke her with it while you're standing <laughs> behind her. Because that works too, right? Oh, yeah, of course. They like that. <laughs> Is a girl that I want to talk to at She's the bar. The bar I emerge stool, just from my right at her spot, yeah. stand behind her, and then as soon as she gets that drink and turn around, she's gonna see me, and I'm gonna try to start a conversation with her. Okay. Um, one more thing I wanted to one mention: if thing. there's only two girls and you're waiting for that transaction to complete, you may get a little anxious. You want to do the approach. You want to get it out. But you have to wait. You should wait. And during the time that you wait, other <coughs> cock blockers may try to oh God. squeeze in. They may try to squeeze in. Don't These angry them. birds Don't are going to fuck up your yeah. Christmas. Ah, oh, oh, those fucking cock blockers, man. And that's when, you, that's when it's okay to use violence, kids. Attack the cock blockers, but do it subtly. Cock blocker! Or go back and hide behind in your cubby hole and wait for the right time to strike again. In between, because if someone Rushi gets is in a between here, animal. your approach is, is done. So what you're going to do is, as soon as someone tries to come in, say uh, move, but move in the opposite way. Okay, you kind of want to guard. Never thought her. of that. 
until you're able to do the approach. All right. Go around so the that's, cock I mean, that's the two easiest, the two most common ways you'll find is just you're, you can stand directly next to... You know, I never would have been able to understand next... this without the visual representation that he's providing. No. Concepts, <laughs> concepts like being beside someone at a bar or behind someone at a bar, those sorts of things really require visual aid to understand because they're so complex and technical. Not only that, not only was that great, but just his advice altogether, you know? Oh, yeah, it's Just brilliant. hover around them or hide in the shadows. <laughs> Just uh, not we, creepy yeah, at all. No. Find you, a girl you like and I, then stand I'm around. Try all of this. Be try so to close to her. She, she can feel you breathing hey. on the back of her neck. Ambush her. Uh, hey. Uh, come here often. Uh, I'm rush me, picked, baby. He picked a big buff eagle for him. <laughs> yeah, with wings. I it off with wings. I like yeah, that. Yeah, like, the eagle man. A lot lion wasn't available, you know. It's like, oh yeah, dude, that's that's the image I get of you. No, he said Chewbacca wasn't available. Oh, Chewbacca. He wanted okay. to be Chewbacca. That's even weirder. He wanted to be Chewbacca macking on uh, Angry Birds. Oh. So. Okay, I'm gonna tell you the best way to get a girl in a bar or a club. I already know how it is. It's very simple. You walk up to her and ask her to dance, and if she says anything besides yes, then that means no. You walk away, and she wants to dance with you, you dance with her. It's so simple. What if you don't hmm, dance? I don't uh, learn to <sighs> dance. Like, I was the guy that would sit in the club with his arms crossed and watch everybody about a year ago. And I did acid, and in the middle of dance, I closed my eyes and just fucking danced my ass off on acid, and it hurt me. <laughs> I would dance in front of anybody, anytime, for any occasion now. I don't give a fuck. 